Okay, so these are all the products that I just eliminated from my kit. All of these. Hello you guys, so I am in my usual spot, I feel like I'm always on this couch in front of this window. Um, yes, I still have my Christmas tree up, it is going away today, I'm just waiting. I ordered one of those Christmas tree bags on Amazon because I cannot deal with shoving that back into like the tiny box that it came in. Way too much work and then I feel like you're just crushing the Christmas tree, like, no. So that's going away today, but welcome back to my vlog. Um, sorry if I'm a little scattered. Uh, you saw what I looked like about an hour and a half ago and most of this morning. You would not believe that I can look like this. <laughs> uh, makeup definitely does wonders. Um, I cried, I, I probably cried for like four hours today. <laughs> Uh, my eyes actually are super sensitive being in front of this window right now. Like, I'm literally like, ugh. <laughs> um, it's all good. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. The start of this year has been pretty brutal and pretty awful. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but I had a death in my family. And um, another family member is dying, essentially, as well. Um, a lot of other little things packed in there and it's just a lot all at once literally in six days like my life has just been like what the hell is going on um, definitely not the way I wanted to start the new year but regardless I wanted to come on here and be positive and um, you know one of my goals for this year is to definitely create more content and be more present on here um, because I love making YouTube videos and um, it's something that I thoroughly enjoy I just you know sometimes life gets in the way and um, shit happens so <laughs> shit's definitely happened this year so far I will say that and then let's add a pandemic on top of everything like it's just like what the hell uh, but Regardless, we're going to have a good year and, um, you know, I will say this, I was definitely slapped in the face with the reality of new year does not mean fresh start and new chapter. Like new year means shit. New year is just a mentality. I think like we have this mentality that we can make this, these huge changes in our life in such a short period of time and just like bam our life is better because it's the new year and like that's just not the case your problems don't go away and life doesn't magically just get better on January 1st <laughs> I mean I knew that but it's just like when you start off the new year in such a weird shitty place it's like wow this sucks <laughs> um, but we're still gonna work towards our goals um, my goals for this year like I said are to be more present on here um, of course, I have goals with my business, financial goals, and just growing that always. That's always a priority to me. Um, also, one of the goals for myself is, one, I do want to get in shape, but, like, that's everyone's goals, and, like, it is what it is. I am going to try and get back into working out because I was looking at some old pictures, and I was like, wow, I need to lose a couple pounds um, not that I'm not comfortable with my body but things are starting to get tight and not fit anymore and when certain things or a lot of my pants are not really fitting right now um, that's alarming <laughs> and that is telling me your yeah, girl needs to lose a couple pounds so yeah I just like food way too much uh, but it's all good it's all good it's fine. Um, but yeah, aside from like getting in shape, I really just want to take more time into like getting ready every day and like putting outfits together and like feeling put together because I slacked so bad with that the last two years. Like I've become way too comfortable with like looking like shit every day. Like you guys have seen it in my past vlogs, like my baseball hat days. That's like me all the time lately. So today, I got ready, even though I cried all morning. I was like, you know what? 
fuck this. I'm getting ready. I'm putting on makeup. I'm putting on a cute top and like pants and that's it. So I straightened my hair yesterday. Like I have to, I have to do better at that because I'm a firm believer if you look good, you feel good. And I don't know why I don't just continue with that mindset because I know that and every time I look good I do feel better and I feel like I'm more productive and more motivated but it's like getting getting into that mood of like getting ready it's like once I'm ready I'm like I'm ready to take on this day but getting ready and getting to that point is like oh, I don't want to but it's worth it. I've been following this girl on TikTok, and of course I can't remember her name, but um, she, let me see if I can find her right now. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, here she is, Just Classically Cassidy on TikTok. She posts like outfit of the days every day, and she gets ready for the day even if she's just home. Anyway, I got cut off, but I love her. I love her style. I think she's so cute. She always looks so put together, and every time I watch her videos, she inspires me. Like, I'm like, damn, like, I want to go get ready now. Like, she just always looks put together, even if she's super casual and, like, comfy. Like, she still looks like, like, if I saw her out, I'd be like, wow, that girl has her shit together. Like, she's got her makeup on, she's got her hair done, and she does it because she likes looking good because when she looks good she feels good and she feels like she can tackle her day and like be more productive and I was like that that's how I want to be so we're gonna try and get ready more um this year and an overall goal is I want to just enjoy life more um it's been kind of hard to do that the last week with everything going on but um I just want to like stop and smell the roses more I don't do that enough I don't celebrate my wins enough I don't celebrate my accomplishments I just kind of like I feel like I don't know I'm hard on myself and I don't enjoy life enough so I need to do that but anyways in this vlog we are going to be organizing my kit a little bit condensing my kit um but in this vlog you'll see like a little behind the scenes of that and uh, yeah we're just getting my kit ready for the new year I always do this every year I place an order I restock all my products and um, I just try and get my kit ready for all my amazing brides for the next year so um, yeah if you're interested in seeing my kit and me reorganizing and all of that then I guess just keep on okay so we are Depotting my makeup today, finally, and I wanted to figure out the Z Potter before I came on camera and showed you guys the process because I didn't want to be messing up on camera. I'm hoping I'm doing it right. I just depotted some of my powders, so I thought I would show you that. Um, as of now, I think I'm going to use this palette for the powders, but I may switch it up. I'm not sure. I have some other palettes I could use. It depends on how everything fits. But I wanted to put my most used powders and just like overall most used face products in this palette. Um, so I just depotted my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powders. Um, you guys, if you haven't used this powder, you are missing out. It is basically a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, what is it, the airbrush powder, you know, the one in the gold packaging. Um, and I can say that confidently because I've carried both in my kit. I've carried the Charlotte Tilbury and I've carried this and I actually prefer this formula over the Charlotte Tilbury. I find this formula is actually more silky than the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I love this. I have so many shades of it. I have all my deep shades here. I have rich, which is a really, really deep shade. I have deep, I have mocha. Um, I haven't depotted these yet. I think I'm going to keep these in the packaging because I don't reach for these as much. And the whole point of this palette is to put my most used face products in here. So it's just convenient. It's easy. I can open up this palette and I could just go to town doing the face. So we have fair, we have lights, we have medium, we have tan. Um, they came out pretty easy. Um, from depotting, I was a little nervous that I was going to break them, but 
came out pretty good. I probably could have kept it longer on the, 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 what do you call it, the Z Potter, but I was impatient. But I got it out of the packaging, really no struggle at all. I do suggest that you have a spatula in hand so you can scoop stuff out and kind of like push it out. And also a little scissor is kind of good because you can kind of get in that pan area because it's a very tiny little blade. So next we're gonna depot some blushes that are gonna go in here as well. These are the Milani Baked Blushes in Luminoso and Dolce Pink. Um, I use these all the time, they're such good blushes. Another product, if you haven't used them, you need them, they're so good. The pigment is beautiful, they add a beautiful glow to the skin. I just, the packaging is pretty, but it's not really ideal for a makeup artist that has a big kit. As you can see, just two of these blushes takes up a lot of space. I mean, that's like a good amount of space. Same thing with Benefit Cookie. That's a good amount of space. This is really unnecessary packaging. I mean, it's very cute for your own collection, but as a makeup artist, it's not really ideal. So we're gonna depot these, and I'm gonna let you guys see how I do that. So from what I've gathered, and hopefully I have read directions correctly, um, so the Z Potter came with this metal plate. And basically, you want to check if the product is magnetic with this plate. If it sticks, um, then you, you're good and you could actually put the product directly on the Z Potter. Why is this scratched? Okay, never mind. Um, if it doesn't stick, you want to put the product, you want to put the plate on the Z Potter and the product on the plate. That's how you do that. Um, I don't know, I haven't found a product that actually sticks yet. So this isn't gonna, so this isn't sticking either. So you're gonna wanna put this product on this and then on the plate. Um, I actually haven't found a product that sticks yet. Um, so this is actually sticking. So I could just put this directly on the Z Potter if I wanted to. Um, but anyways, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna turn the Z Potter on. Oh wait, it's already on, sorry, it's already on. I'm gonna put this on. All right, so change of plans. I actually can't depot these, and I just really messed up. I thought that these blushes were in a metal pan, but after doing some looking, I realized that they're actually not in a metal pan, which means I can't depot them because there's no way they're gonna stick in one of my palettes. Um, they kind of have to stay in this packaging, which sucks. But we're gonna depot this now. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this works. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna check this now that it's been on there. Be careful, because it may be pretty warm. Um, I'm actually going to, oops, cut this packaging so it's easier to get out. Let's see if it's gonna come out. I definitely feel like the glue loosened up. Whoop, there you go, it came out. Okay, so I just went ahead and I put the highlighter right over there. So now it's out of that bulky packaging. Um, now I need to figure out what else I'm gonna put in this palette since I can't put these. I'm seriously so bummed about that. I do have this palette which I'm going to, I think, take out these two brightening powders and then I think, or maybe all three. And then um, this is from MAC by the way. And honestly, I really don't use these anymore, so I'm not even going to worry about these, but I do like the brightening powder, so I may put these with um, the other powders and the highlighter. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and pop this little guy out. Ow! See, guys, be careful. Don't do what I just did. I almost just stabbed myself. <laughs> so, yeah. 
There you go. It's out. And now I can just pop it in here. And there we go. We're gonna give my give this a second to heat back up again since I just had it off. Try. Oh no! No. See, this is a learning curve, honestly. <laughs> So I basically ruined these uh, scissors. Okay, so I actually found these two blushes in my collection that came in packaging that was they weren't actually glued into. So I was able to just pop them right out and put them in here, which is perfect because I wanted a pinky blush and a peachy blush for here. Because like I said, the goal with this palette is to be like a go-to face palette. I can open it up and work directly from here for most people. Obviously it doesn't cover every skin tone, but it covers majority of my clientele. I could use this. Um, but obviously I have other products in my kit to accommodate every skin tone. I do want to make that very clear. Um, that is super important to me. But anyways, um, this is going to make my life easier when I do weddings because I kind of have everything all right here rather than opening up individual products over and over again, I could just open this up. So the only thing I need in here is a bronzer now. And I think I'm going to take from here, which is the Park Ave Princess Tarte Palette. I love this, it's such a pretty palette, but it's very bulky packaging and very heavy. And I only really use this bronzer and this bronzer. So I'm gonna take this one out because obviously it's my most used. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna put this in this palette. So hopefully I can get this out with no problem. So this actually came out no problem. There's not even glue inside the pan. So I probably didn't even need to use the DZ powder, but I just assumed there was glue because it looks like a, a product that would have it. Um, so I think I'm going to add this color in as well. So I have a lighter bronzer and a darker bronzer in here. So I think we're good. Okay, so these are all the products that I just eliminated from my kit. All of these. And now it's that. So, um, yes, I am very excited about that. Tell me that's not amazing. Okay, so the next product I really want to try depotting is my Bare Necessities palette by... ColourPop, as you guys can see, this palette looks super loved, and it is, but it also looks way worse because of this stupid packaging. It stains. I wipe it all the time, but it's just super stained. You can see inside, it's also really stained, like all of this. This is stained. This isn't like just loose eyeshadow. It's stained. So we're going to try depotting this next. process on how I'm condensing things so um, for example I knew I really wanted to depot this palette the color pop palette but I don't use all the shades in here so if I'm not using the shade the whatever I don't use is going in the garbage um, I think I've gotten my money's worth out of this so I don't really care about throwing them out um, I am going to take some of these shimmers because I do like them and I do use them but pretty much everything else is just going in the garbage 
um, and I'm just kind of keeping a lot of the matte shades. Um, I also have a ton of individual shadows that I had in my kit as well. These are mostly from Make Makeup Geek. Um, and I kind of need to go through that and figure out what I want in here. So this palette is going to be just a bunch of like shadows that I actually love and not shadows that I'm just stuck with because they come in a palette. You know, like I can really pick and choose what's coming in here. I also have my palette here, which is my Cosette palette, which um, has a lot of my most used eyeshadows as well. So I kind of need to figure out, okay, what am I using? What am I not? Um, so yeah, we need to just kind of condense everything the best we can. And I will kind of uh, show you guys like the end process once I've gotten a little bit further along. So I am going to take my Going Coconuts palette apart, but I did want to just let you guys know that these actually pop out themselves because um, I've dropped this before and they've all popped out so you kind of just have to like hit it against a soft surface flat and they will come out or you can just kind of pop them out with a spatula. Alright so I wanted to show you guys what I've done so far. Um, I just finished labeling. I use a label maker um, that I got on Amazon a while ago. I freaking love this thing and I use it all the time. So this palette, like I showed you before, is the face palettes. Um, this is what this looks like. Again, we have my most used face powders, um, bronzers, highlight, benefit cookie, two blushes, and two highlighting powders like for underneath the eye. So that's what that palette looks like. Then we have shadows here. So, I'm sorry this is so dirty, this is literally driving me nuts, but this is a very good quality palette. It's just, again, the texture of this seems to um, stain really easily, but I like this because it's actually cushioned, so it protects your shadows. Um, but this is my matte palettes. I um, went ahead and put all of the matte shadows, so these are all ColourPop. These are some MAC and Makeup Geek. We have Cosette here, and then we just have, I don't even know what brands these are, but I just put some like gray tones down here because I feel like that's good to have, and this is just a transition shade. So um, this is all browns in here, all brown and like cream matte shades. And then in this palette here, this is from Shop Miss A. They used to sell a ton of palettes on there, empty palettes, but they only have the small sizes now. They don't carry this size from what last time I checked. Um, but I loved their palettes because they were super cheap, but this is all I had. So in this palette, this is my shimmers. And here has all of my, um, hold on, let me turn on like my flashlight so you guys can really see the shimmers. Yeah. So in here we have all of my shimmers. Um, I tried to narrow it down to my most used colors because there's really no point in having a million different colors, honestly. So we have Cosette, we have some MAC in here, we have ColourPop in here, um, and I think like maybe a couple, I think that's it actually. Um, but yeah, that's my shimmers palettes. So those are my eyeshadows. Those are going to be my go-to palettes. Um, I am going to make one more palette, and in that palette I'm going to do mostly purple shades. So, um, I don't think I'm going to put it in here, I don't think. Um, I, I ordered a smaller one that comes tomorrow, because I don't really need this whole thing for purples. The only reason why I'm going to do like a purple palette is because out of all the colors I get asked besides like browns and golds is usually mauve or purple tones. Um, I don't really get to ask any other colors besides those. So I thought why not have them in my kit. So here are some ColourPop um, shadows and I have, I'm going to depot some of my other like purpley shades as well. Like I think I'm going to depot this Jaclyn Hill palette because it has like nice like some nice purpley shades. I also have um, this palette 
that I got in like Ipsy that has some nice purpley shades. Um, so I might depot some of the shades from there. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I actually was considering maybe do use this palette, but make this palette my color palette in case I get anyone that is requesting color. Um, so I did think about that because I have these two palettes that I keep in my kit in case someone requests color. Um, the only color that anyone would ever request I feel like is like a blue or, or green and then like like I said like a purpley color. So I have these two Huda Beauty palettes that I keep just in case. Um, so I have these blues and then I have this um, pink shade. So maybe I'll pick up a couple more of these just to have colors in my kit just in case. Um, but yeah, that's where we got. That's what we got so far. I did eliminate a lot of eyeshadow palettes actually. And now my main eyeshadow palettes are going to be just these two, um, which is kind of nice. So I did end up finishing my little purple mauve palettes. Um, this is what I came up with. I just kind of put a bunch of shadows together. Some of them did break, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we just have some matte shades and some um, pretty shimmers here. And I did switch out the palette to a smaller palette. So yeah, that's what we did with that. Um, pretty much everything now fits in the top of my case um, so I can fit all of my makeup in my kit in this one case my disposables the only thing that doesn't fit is my brushes I have a whole separate thing for my brushes but everything fits in here so I think we successfully condensed everything I may even condense further I'm thinking about using this palette um, and putting depotting some bronzers and blushes and just putting those in here I'm not totally sure but I'm I think I might try that so yeah that's pretty much that I'm not gonna be showing you everything that's in my kit um, because that's gonna be a separate video if you want to see what's in my kit and actually how everything looks condensed and um, how I organized everything you're gonna have to watch my updated what's in my kit video which I will be posting next week so keep an eye out for that if you want to actually see an in-depth video of what's in my kit and how I fit everything in one case, except my brushes, then you're just going to have to uh, stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.